All right, here we go. Not so happy Thursday, East Vancouver, back alley foundation. I gotta sneak little mighty mouse in here and still try and reach this. I'm gonna pull in, I think what I wanna try and do is plan an outrigger right down below there, get as close as I can. And there'll be less lumber for me to move out of the way. Hopper comes in quite a bit. We'll move the porta pooper out of the way, bring the mixer down the lane on an angle, get onto the pump, boom, boom, boom. Uh, lots of lots and lots of pro stack blocks down in here for uh, for setting my outrigger on. So this will be a, a Cliff Notes version today. A little short on time here, so we will get after it. stay up here just because it puts our hopper back a little closer to the lane easier for the mixer hoppers a mile in the air we're gonna pro stack those front outriggers and we'll bring that front end away up and get this back end way down overall this actually isn't too bad set the camera down here and get to work Level this up with some wood. There's a giant boulder there I was unable to dig out. So I worked around it with some uh, just some scrap timbers here. Playing a little Jenga.
Fortunately, this pump doesn't have the slewing back outrigger leg, so it's gonna be a little bit tougher to get this side up high enough to get the blocks underneath there. So we'll do what we can with this back leg, but I don't think it's gonna be much. All right, let's see what we get here. gonna pick up too much I don't think but I want just enough to get even one layer of blocks underneath oh yeah that's that's what we need perfect concrete's here of course okay now we'll work on this side I'll probably just try and get one layer of blocks under here Crank this up, try and get just enough room for one layer of blocks. Let's see what we got. just get us there let's see Two two by sixes under the front tire to get this up high enough. But we are there. front outriggers up Let's see where our back lands good it's a little more work 
than I anticipated. Go up as high as we can get on this one. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. We'll crank this one the rest of the way. Normally on a bigger pump, I would do this incrementally. Let's get this boom out of the cradle. Tick tock. And this one is for uh, Trevor, the same same builder. My last my last two videos entitled something like another East Vancouver back alley setup or something like that. Same builder, and this is another East Vancouver back alley foundation. Trevor likes to challenge us. Probably not gonna bother with the air cuff today because they're gonna have uh, they're gonna have to lay this hose out a bit and play around with it a little bit. So sometimes the air cuff can be a bit of a hindrance that way. Best part about the aircom remote. Boom. Just like that. Oh, and boom off. She's stored. I need it stretched out here, prime through, yada yada yada, all the usual stuff. We'll check back in a little bit here. Rock and roll. Whoever had this 24 meter out last, come on. Really? We need to do better than that. No excuse for that. All right, truck's in, we're good. Got a nice slope on the chute. Put that hopper down nice and low. That was my biggest concern with the setup, but we're good. All right, here we are just working on the second load here. Setup is good, setup is tight. We'll take a little walk around here when I get a break in trucks. Looks like we're gonna go about uh, three loads and a possible balance, or a tag, as they call it in some areas. Yeah, the footing's on this report previously. So uh, it's, not, it's not a monolithic core, obviously, except for these couple little wing walls here. 
should go pretty quick. Yeah, I think three might do it. Three might do it. We're only halfway through this guy, not even, so. Yeah. See, Leo agrees with me. Three might do it, or I agree with Leo. Something like that. Leo's the boss. I agree with him. We'll go with that. Anyhow, we'll check back in in a bit. The reason for the long hose, the 15 foot hose, there's some far stuff there we gotta lay out to get, so. It's all good, people. It's within the 365 pound tip weight rating capacity. We're good. Couple big strokes here. Leo likes the push. I think these guys got the hint to get out of the way. Two loads in. Let's uh, let's check out our setup here. So we ended up just with one layer of the uh, Pro Stack curbing blocks out front here. One custom walkway express ramp right to the cab. Beautiful. And same thing on the uh, the other side here. Not too bad, right? I'll take it. Um, one layer on the other side here and uh let's just do a fun little exercise so this excavation here that is cut at greater than a 45 degree angle and as we know ground pressure transmits through the soil at a 45 degree angle but let's first measure how far it is from the edge of our dunnage to the base of the excavation spin the camera around here camera in mouth time Let's call it 64 inches. So 64 inches back from the base. And let's see how deep this is here. What I'm gonna do, take this little stick here and hold it to where I believe is somewhat level, which is about here. So we're about 34 inches deep, 68 inches back. So we could be uh, as much as 34 inches from the base of that. The way that it's cut here, it's a little bit deceiving. I don't quite believe that. Uh, there's a little bit more to it than just a, a straight up formula. But uh, oh, my phone's playing music. There we go, we'll just fix that up. But yeah, we are set back. Plenty of distance here, nice and safe. Sometimes with these, they look, uh, they can look a little bit, a little bit worse than they actually are. And I think this one is a classic example of one of those cases. So, so yeah, she's holding strong. Front up, end up nice and high. We got just enough reach. I'm running it like a rookie today. I got her in the A-frame. Uh, the reason why, the reason why, the reason why. This is actually my first job that I've poured with the new Aircom remote. And I'm nervous like a rookie. So I'm just doing training wheel here, the old A-frame training wheel. Quickest way to spot a rookie operator, right? Running a Z-boom like an A-frame. Uh, so far, let's just not put this in the dirt. Let's put it somewhere a little bit better here. A little bit more respectable. So far, what I love about it 
the pump forward, pump reverse functions on the joysticks is absolutely awesome. Uh, the boom enable and stabilizer enable, just being on a simple button, not a toggle switch, uh, I really like. I also am super fond of having the volume control controlled by these two buttons rather than a Rio stat. It's just way more accurate. I can go up by increments of, uh, it starts at zero and it maxes out at 20. So it's very precise control. One tap, one click I should say, is one increment. So very consistent, so you can really dial in your volume. So yeah, so far, I'm really liking it. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's my first day on it, so there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve here. And I'm sure I'll probably find a couple things that I don't like about it. Um, the belt clip here, We've talked to Aircom about this. They're gonna work on something that uh, has more of a, a positive engagement so that when you lean forward, it doesn't tend to fall out. It's really comfortable, but I did find that when you lean forward, it wants to, to come out. So I'm doubling up. Doubling up with the shoulder strap today. God, it's tough to hold a camera and do things at, uh, at the same time, simultaneous, so. But anyhow, yeah, so far, really, really good. Uh, a couple more loads to go here and we'll be out of here. Pretty straightforward pour. Bit of a setup. Um, what I'm gonna do coming out, I'm gonna stack some more wood on this side, a little bit more on that tire too, on the other side. So I'm not doing the uh, lifting with the back outriggers to try and get my, my dunnage back out. That's one thing I will say. If you do a lot of setups in areas that are on hills and you need to get the front end up like this, having slewing rear outrigger legs and like a, a true x-frame pedestal is so much handier because you're going to hold that pump up with the back leg whereas with something like this it just twists torsionally even with the legs that telescope out they're relying on the pump subframe for torsional rigidity and there's a, a you know a good a good bit of twist in there um if these did come out a few feet it would be a lot more effective than you know the way they just angle down right now but uh but we got her done but yeah, not, not the ideal pump for hill setups. I bet you can't ride that chair down the hill. Oh <laughs> no, get a hard hat on. You're gonna bail. I feel like I shouldn't have challenged him to do that. It's actually pretty impressive. Oh, he's gonna hit the rumble strips and he's done. Wow. You don't see that every day. <laughs> Extreme job site sports. Well, this is good. We were just notified that uh, dispatch has gone down. And this ain't my regular ride and I got no uh, delay powder on here. You can go get some sugar, but I don't want to get sugar. I don't want to kill the concrete. I just want to delay it. So I'm going to, uh, in true fiend fashion here, I got some residue, I'm gonna actually scoop this up. And we're gonna make some delay set. We'll mix it up in one of these tubs, which actually seems to have holes in the bottom of it. So maybe we'll just throw it in the hopper, mix it up there. Can you say, desperate times, much? Anyhow, I'll take what I can get. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. Sad times indeed. I wish I could total up or calculate the total amount of hours in my existence on planet Earth that I've spent doing this. Just hanging out doing this. My personal record for doing this, and I don't even like to admit this, was eight hours, no BS. A lot of weird circumstances that led up to that because I know you're thinking, why didn't you just go wash out? I can make a whole video putting together the timeline of how it transpired. But anyhow, I bet it's at least six months of my life doing this. Easy money. All right, just waiting on concrete here. I want to show you something really, really cool. This wireless charger. Not only will it charge your handheld, and it also charge 
the boom pump remote, which I've got on the back of the pump right now. But here's the best part. It will also charge your cell phone. Once I get it laid on there appropriately. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah, it is actually quite handy though. Because these stupid things always seem to wear out. So I'm liking it. Good job, Aircom. I can't think of a more fitting way to end things off than by sucking back the sponge. There we go. 30% volume reverse. Brand new sponge too. It's exciting. There you go, fella. There you go. There you go, buddy. You're gonna have a good life here at AJ's Concrete Pumping, I promise. And let's listen for that sweet sound of the ocean. Fly on the deck pipe. Sounds good to me. Idle ourselves down here. So I think by the time this video airs, well, actually, as I'm shooting this video, we just hit 3,000 subscribers yesterday. So this video is probably going to air probably a week or two after this uh, this date. But yeah, huge thanks to everybody who subscribed. Uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about the channel so far is the constructive criticism and respectful dialogue in the comment section. Uh, there's so many different ways of doing things, pumping concrete. I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. Always open to hearing new ideas or ways of doing things. Uh, I appreciate everybody keeping in the comments. They're very respectful, not only with myself, but also amongst the other commenters. So. I think it's a really, really good thing. I like the path we're going on here. And uh, yeah, if people can, can learn from each other, and that includes me, learning from others, is uh, the ultimate goal of the channel here. So here's the 3,000 subscribers, and uh, looking forward to many, many more. And I think the, the bigger the following gets, the, uh, the cooler stuff we are gonna be able to do. Um, because of you guys, is why I'm able to be the first to try out this new radio control here. So big thanks to Aircom. But uh, this is ultimately one of my secondary goals in starting the channel was wanting to try out cool new stuff. So we like that too. Anyhow, it's enough of the blah, blah, blah. You know it goes. Like, share, subscribe. Times three. Over and out. All right, bonus content. I just had to add this in. So this little 24 meter... There's no need to utilize the boom to wash out. You can get the hopper lit up with the boom stowed in the cradle. So for washing out, rather than lugging that uh, 
boom pump remote out of the cab. We got the optional line pump remote here. We can do it all right from this. Easy peasy. like that another handy feature this could be love I know it's early on but this could be love